In this tutorial, we are going to let the admins change the status form in progress to cancel on the way or delivered. So for it, we are going to have an option called change status over here. So for it, let's go back to our code and we'll go to our order.bag.php and here you can see you have a status table header. So after this table header, we are going to add one more table header and that will be called change status so inside this change status we're going to have three button on will be delivered cancel and on the way so for it we'll go at the down and after this delivery status td we're going to mention on more td and in this td we're going to have three anchor tag so let me just say here this one will be on the way then let's also mention a class here let's say the class name will be btn btn it will be info then let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it two times on l2 this one will be called asset delivered delivered and this one will be called cancel cancel so if you now set this okay instead of info for deliver we are going to use let's say earning and this one will be for cancel it will be danger danger save it then refresh here and there you can see we have three button here on the way deliver and cancel and what you all is that when you click on this button it will change the food status or product status for it let's go back to the code and let's do the on the way first so here you can see href so in this href we are going to give to second bracket then we'll set our url to first bracket then to sale quotation we need to give a url name let's say on the the underscore way you can name it anything i'll just name it the, this way so after it what i'm going to do is that we will create a route for this so let's go to our web.php and i'm just going to copy this then paste it here and our route name will be on the way so we say here route get it will be on the way we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be on the way okay so right now let's go to our admin controller and create this function so let's go to our admin controller and we're going to say here public function it will be on the way then to first bracket and we'll get to second bracket uh, we need to get the ids for a specific foo whenever someone click on this so for it what we need to do is here for this href we're going to give a comma then here you can see using dollar data we are able to get the order details so we're going to say here dollar data will get the order id so we also need to cache this id in the web.php so we're going to say here with second bracket it will be id and we need to cache this id in the admin controller so we say here dollar id so first of all what we need to do is that we need to declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to we need to mention the order table in model name so this is the order table so the model name for the order table is order then we keep double clone, we'll say here fine to first bracket, we'll say dollar id. So we find the specific order, then for the specific order id, we are going to change the status from uh, in progress to on the way. So we are going to say here dollar data, this arrow sign. And if we just go to our database order table, then you can see for status, we write it like this delivery underscore status. So we are going to say here delivery underscore status equal to, we'll give to double quotation, we'll say here on the way. After that, we'll just say here dollar data, this arrow sign set. And after saving the data, we'll just send the user back to the same place. We'll say here return, redirect back. So let me just set this. And let me just refresh here. Then if we now click on on the way, the against the product status change to on the way. 
So we are going to apply the same logic for the delivery and also for the cancel as well. So let's go back and let's put our order.bet.php and let me just copy this hf and I'm going to paste it for this delivered and here we are going to set your name will be delivered and then let's put our web.php if we copy this then paste it here the url name will be delivered so i'll just copy this then paste it here we use the admin controller function name will be delivered just go to our order dot i mean uh admin controller then let me copy this public function on the way and then paste it here and we're going to say public function delivered delivered and then the process will be same just over here we're going to say daily bird and everything else will be the same right now if we set it then refresh here and if we now click on deliver then you can see the status change to deliver now let's do the cancel part so let's go back we're just going to copy and paste let me copy this then paste it in the href here we're going to say cancel Cancel, let's say we'll go to our web.php. Let me copy, paste. Let me just copy the URL name. We're going to say here cancel ID and the function name will be cancel. We'll use the admin controller and again I'm just going to copy this, then paste it here. The function name will be cancelled, C A N C L E D. And over here, we're going to say cancel. That's all. If we now save it, then refresh. And there you go. And let's say we want to cancel this order. If we now click on cancel, okay, there's an error. Uh, I think I made a spelling mistake. Uh, let me check. Okay. There's a spelling mistake actually in C N. Uh, it will be okay. Let's say here uh, we said here cancel. Okay, let me just copy this and paste it here. Then here and also over here as well. Let's save it. Let's go back. Let me refresh. Let me click on cancel. And there you can see the status change to cancel. And for this one, if we click on on the way, the status will change to on the way. So we can just show you configuration message then adding show to update this. So here in this anchor tag, we're going to say on play equal to it will be return confirm to page update, then to single position will say are uh, you sure to change this and i'm just going to copy this return confirm i mean on click from here and paste it inside every anchor tag there you go save it refresh and every time we click on any option it will say adding sure to change this there you can see if we click ok only then it will change the status so yeah, this is how we can change status for the product. I hope this was easy for you. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.